So I'm here on your page trying to make this givemn.org image link. Scrolling over to it, it looks like this is all one big block of text, which I'm not sure if I set up or you set up, but we need to change that just a little bit to make it easier. Um, but first I'll show you the hard way. Since this is text and I click on it, it's going to bring me over here. Um, I'm going to expand this so it's easier to look at. So we see our top paragraph right here. We say it's saying our goal is to raise 15,000. Yay! We look down a little bit more and here is the PNG. It says it right here and also right there. So HTML code, just for your reference, if there's something that says an href, so this is an HTTP reference. And what that does in conjunction with this A tag, it says make a link on the page to whatever is right here. So what we could do is actually replace this because we don't want to link it to its own image. So if you click on it, the image shows up. We want to make it so if you click on it, the new web page will show up right there. We still have the image showing up. So let's go ahead and close this. And then we can see down here in the very bottom, if you look down here, when I hover over that image, you see that it says HTTPS givemn.org. Um, if I were to save this, it says it's saved. I'm going to view it in a new page and just to test to make sure that that all worked. Scroll down to it, givemn.org. We're waiting for it still to load. There we go. Givemn.org. You see down in the bottom left hand, scholarship fund. If I click there, it takes me to that place. But for future, what we'll want to do is it's not really helpful to have that image in the text. So what we could do is we'll go over to our elements area. We'll search for image. We're going to drag that over right below our text, which is a good place. I'm going to click, click on it, click on the insert media. Sorry, I did that very quickly. I'll go back. So there you go, give MN. I'm going to insert that. So it's right there on the left hand side. I can make it link. I'm going to turn it on. And the href, you'll notice that tag is the same. So a pound means stay on our page, but really we want to make it do this scholarship fund campaign. There we go. I saw that it actually centered itself, which is wonderful. All of these other things you don't really need to worry about. If that had not centered itself, you could go back. Um, and give it, but in our column, we've already said that we want all the text to be centered. That's why everything is um, centered here. So now that that's there, and again, we've given it its link to go to, I can come back up to this give MN, expand out, and I'm just going to delete that so we don't have two images. So remember, I said everything wrapped in that A tag, which is a link, and the href. So I'm going to go from A tag, I'm going to come down. I'm going to come down and I'm going to go to this A tag right here. Now there's some other things that I'm just going to clear up. Looks like somebody almost got there with that one. And it looks like this A tag is an orphan. Oh, no, there you go. Somebody tried it once again right there. So it just looks like we have some orphaned A tags out there. So I clean that all up. I'm going to close this down. We see that all of that still looks really good. We've got this as a give MN. I'm going to save the page. Bodacious. I'm going to go and view our page. To get it to open up in a new tab, I don't know if you all knew that, but you, when you click, it's going to open up in the same tab, but if you hold down Command or Control on a Windows, Command on Mac, Control on Windows, it'll open itself up in a new tab so you don't have to constantly reload back to the page. Give MN is there, and if I click it, it's going to go right to that Give MN page. So that's how you're going to go ahead and change that link on images. That also applies for text. You can use that HTML code with that ahref to make a link anywhere uh, within text. Hope that helped.